coming to the drugs which are used in local anesthesia very important so the drugs which we are using for peribulbar retrobulbar even for tenons basically are the two important drugs one is a lignocaine hydrochloride 2% anesthetic which comes in a vial of about 30 ml now i want you to pay attention to this because it's very important now lignocaine is a faster acting shorter duration and the percentage is 2% okay and to this lignocaine what we add is basically a slightly longer acting agent compared to the lignocaine the bupivacaine which comes in a 20 ml vial and the concentration is about 0.5% so the idea of adding lignocaine to bupivacaine or bupivacaine to lignocaine is basically to prolong the action of lignocaine so in a syringe basically 3 ml of lignocaine is taken and to that we add about 2 ml of bupivacaine so this is how we constitute we are going to take it in the syringe now the safe dose to avoid any toxicity a dose of lignocaine above 3 mg per kg should not be used and bupivacaine the safe dose is 2 mg per kg Now what are some of the agents that we are going to add to the lignocaine bottle now this is very important number 1 is the epinephrine epinephrine dose will be about 3 to 5 micrograms per ml and the concentration that you are going to use is 1 in 2 lakhs preferably and if not not more than 1 in 1 lakh okay and epinephrine or adrenaline is basically a vasoconstrictor so it is going to reduce the amount of bleeding and prolong the anesthesia period as well The other agent that we use is the hyaluronidase and the dose is about 50 units per ml. It is basically a hydrolyzer of the connective tissue polysaccharides and is frequently added to enhance the retrobulbar spread of the local anesthesia, okay? So there's a lot of connective tissue which is present behind the eyeball and you are putting it in the adipose tissue and uh, the local anesthetic and now that has to diffuse into the around into and around the muscle cone. For that you need some agent which can break up this connective tissue bonds and the agent is the hyaluronidase or the hyalase. Now coming to the important question of how do you actually constitute or reconstitute this adrenaline the adrenaline the concentration which is ideally needed is about 1 in 2 lakh it should never exceed more than 1 in 1 lakh so how do we actually do that now if you would remember the vial that we were using for the lignocaine was of 30 ml Now from this uh, vial of adrenaline you are going to take about 0.3 ml of adrenaline okay so as it tells you that 1 ml of adrenaline actually consists of 1 mg right so 0.3 ml will consist of 0.3 ml or uh, 0.3 mg of uh, 1 is to 1000 concentration of the adrenaline now in order to make this 1 is to 1000 adrenaline to 1 into 1 lakh we need to dilute it about 100 times okay so we need this 100 times dilution of this 1 is to 1000 adrenaline so how do we do that we take 0.3 ml of the adrenaline which is consisting of 0.3 mg okay and that will be put up into the 30 ml of the lignocaine right so as we do that the dilution that we get is 1 by 100 that is 0.3 divided by 30 that comes to 1 by 100 that means we have now diluted this adrenaline 100 times and the concentration that we get is 1 in 1 lakh next is how do we get that dose of adrenaline that is about 3 to 5 micrograms per ml okay so in the same way the dose also gets covered so how let's see in 1 ml we know that 100 ml of this Uh, not 100 ml sorry 1 ml has about 1 mg of adrenaline right so 0.3 ml of adrenaline will actually have 0.3 mg of the adrenaline right so 0.3 mg is nothing but 300 micrograms and when you are diluting adrenaline 100 times what is happening this 300 micrograms is coming to about 3 micrograms so i hope that is clear to you so finally we have made this adrenaline into a concentration of 1 in 1 lakh and the dose of about 3 micrograms 3 to 5 micrograms by taking 0.3 ml of this adrenaline and putting it into the 30 ml vial of the lignocaine so this is how you are going to reconstitute your adrenaline similarly the hyalase or the hyaluronidase also you have to reconstitute the dose that i told you is about 15 international units per ml however the vial which is available is say 1500 international unit so this you are going to actually it is available as a powder so take 1 ml from your 30 ml of lignocaine and put that 1 ml into this 
uh, hyaluronidase injection and then reconstitute uh, i mean dissolve the fluid dissolve the powder which is present in the vial and then reconstituted uh, hyaluronidase you are going to add into the 20 ml of lignocaine so now you have put up your 1500 national units in 30 ml vial so now the concentration which will get you will get is now 50 international units per ml now there are other anesthetic combinations also that you can use for this you can use ropivacaine along with levobupivacaine but the thing is they are very long acting and post-operative diplopia can last for a longer period of time or you can use 2% lignocaine with 2% prelocaine which is quite a short uh, duration which acts for even shorter period of time than the bupivacaine. 